Helicon Cable Systems, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. This evening, via tape delay from Hark Little League Field here in Hopwood, the home of Hark Baseball, we've got 11 and 12 year old action as we bring you the game between the Brewers and the Pirates. Well, a very pleasant good evening, everyone, and pleasant indeed it is. Bright, sunshiny day here in Hopwood, and I'm John Kazarek. I'll be calling all of the action. Jerry Dupay alongside to film tonight's game. And we do want to remind you before we come back with the first pitch that the South Union Township Sports Network is a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Covell, and Tom Frankhauser, and of course Helicon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Mr. Craig Tomchek. We'll be back, we'll set the lineups and get it on here tonight. It'll be the Brewers and the Pirates on Helicon 52, the home of the South Union Township Sports Network. The Joden Chiropractic Clinic, located in the Continental Plaza on Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletic and high school athletic events. Dr. Thomas A. Joden and his staff of well-trained professionals extend best wishes to all of the players, their coaches, and managers. Dr. Joden and his friendly staff have been providing gentle chiropractic care to the families of Greater Uniontown and the surrounding area since 1988. Chiropractic examinations, including x-rays, orthopedic, and neurological tests, are performed to thoroughly evaluate the patient. Dr. Joden and his staff take great pride in educating their patients to the benefits of general chiropractic health care. Office hours are 9 a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m., Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, and Saturday hours are 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock noon. For further information, please call the Joden Chiropractic Clinic at 439-9445. Located at 96 East Main Street, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth and high school athletic okay. Team 68. Long a sponsor of local athletics and other youth activities in the Uniontown area, the attorneys and their support staff, Kathy Seiske, Robin Hill, and Pamela Kahn, want to extend best wishes to all of the area athletic teams and their coaches and wish them well on an outstanding season. Office hours for John and John are 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m., Monday through Friday, with evening appointments and Saturday appointments also available upon request. The phone number for John and John is 438-8560. Uniontown Toyota, located on Route 40 West across from the Uniontown Mall, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletic events. Uniontown Toyota offers a long history of value, high quality, and dependability. In fact, eight of Toyota's models appear on J.D. Power Associates' best in initial quality list. Not many, if any other manufacturer, can make that statement. We now offer... The South Union Township Supervisors will again sponsor their youth baseball and basketball camps this summer during the month of June. The number there is 438-5480. We're ready to roll here, top half of inning number one, and taking the field, the Brewers, and Big Jake Speck will be on the mound, Justin Wilson behind the plate, and David Landman striding in to lead it off. So here we go. First pitch, and Jerry hammering foul up over top of us. So. Let's uh, be alert. Chris Miakovic. We're getting the lineup changes here very quickly. We'll be in right center as Tim Turco hustles down to first base. And I think that's Mr. Popovich down at third doing the coaching. It's ball club three and four on the year. Ground ball right side. Nice stop by the first baseman, A.J. Swentoski. Two pitches and one down. Nice play. Good hit, uh, well hit ball off the bat of Landman, and he hit it right on the button, but a fine defensive play over at first base. So one up, one down in two pitches, and that'll bring up Brad Yeoman. Try and set the defense for you very quickly. Kaposko's at third, Dice at short, Palmer at second, A.J. Swentoski at first. We'll get the outfield on the next pitch, swing and a miss even up. Ryan McDowell is in left uh, field, left center. You've got Burt Thompson, Drew Lucy's in right center, Mike Badinsky in right field. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Count will go to two balls and one strike. Two balls, one strike. 
Top half of inning number one, no score. Brewers and the Pirates here in our South Union Township game of the night. Nice pick by the shortstop. Dice guns it across and right through the glove of A.J. Swantoski. So aboard on the air will be Brad Yeoman. Fine play, strong throw. And the runner aboard with one down. Strong, strong throw. Had a lot on it. He cut it loose, no doubt about it. So a runner aboard, and that'll bring up Josh McDuffie, number 35. Swing and a miss, a runner off and going. Strong throw. Oh. Good throw by Justin as he got it down. So a runner aboard now. At first, stealing now down at second in the omen. And McDuffie in pitch in the dirt, gets away on the wild pitch. A runner moves up. Some wind kicking up. Game being taped uh, Monday, June 5th out here at Hopwood, a 7.30 or 7.35 start thereabouts. And you're watching this game on Sunday night. Glad you're with us. And the pitch, just away, 2-1. Set the umpires here for you today. Richie Valenic, uh, very recent Laurel Highlands graduate, 1994 graduate, uh, enrolled up at Indiana University of Pennsylvania behind the plate. And Richie, fine baseball pitcher the last few years here for the Mustangs, also played football and a good look at him. And uh, in behind uh, the mound, his dad will be working the bases, Chuck Valenic. So very fine family. Uh, Bonnie, their young daughter, and Marty, of course, who pitched for the Mustangs more than uh, two years ago or so, pitch inside. Should get it up full, I believe. Throw down a third, no. Full count it is, so Josh McDuffie, the left center fielder, is a nice look at Chuck. Told us to make sure we kept the camera on uh, the better looking member of the family. There's a shot up the alley. This will get to the fence and will be at least two. Turning it on comes McDuffie, and he ripped that baby throw back fairly close. So a double and a run scored, and a ripping shot up the middle. Bring up number 40, Sean Kreshock. Sean on the hill here today. Opportunity maybe to help himself. One nothing ball game. We're in the first, one down. Swing and a miss, throw down to third. Nice play, getting off the bag, Andy Caposco, to save it. No balls, one strike. Kreshock with an opportunity maybe to help himself right here. With a base hit. There's one lifted towards short. Dice drifting, makes the play. Strong throw to third, no. Nice play by Billy, he got back on it. So a pop to short for the second out. Should bring up Luke Turco, Michael Elias to follow, and then Chris Mayakovich, number 41, followed by Garrett Brain, then Lachardi and Pinckney. So two down and Speck close to getting out of it. Pitch away. Big double up the alley by McDuffie drove a run in. And Turco to the plate. Swing and a miss. Good defensive ball club. A.J. Swantoski had a fine game the last time around and uh, made a very nice play on a hard hit ground ball to open things up. Bobby Palmer, reliable and tough at second. Dice has shown you what he can do at short. And Kaposko down at third. Strike two. Valenic rings it up. Big Jake. What ball? Two strikes. Two outs. One run in. A runner at third. Just misses. There a play at the plate. He's coming to flip, and he's across. So McDuffie slides in. Make it a 2 nothing ball game. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, and the pitch coming. Missed upstairs. Into the windup and the pitch. He lost him. 
puts the runner aboard on the walk. To bring up Michael Elias, number 21, the catcher. So we'll have a little bit of a delay here, and we'll have a little bit of a delay between innings if he is retired or stranded on base when the inning ends. Okay, we're set now. Michael hustling up. I'd like to see that. Sure, his dad has schooled him well as far as effort and hustle, and Billy, longtime uh, football coach in the area, swing and a miss. Throw through down to second. No, stolen base. No balls, one strike on Elias. In fact, uh, Bill is situ situated down the third base side. Up on your toes. You're going to third. Another wind up. Strike two call. No balls, two strikes, two down, and a runner at second. And the pitch coming. Missed the throw down to third. Going to be close, and he got him. Fine throw, Wilson to Caposco. Caught stealing to end the inning and score it two to five. A couple of runs on a hit, and we'll be back with the bottom half of inning number one. Pirates on top, two to nothing. Tapping. Soundtrack. It's foot tapping. Soundtrack. It'll make you move, groove, get up and dance. Soundtrack. CDs or cassettes. Soundtrack. They've even got records. And check out the concert shirts. Soundtrack. Soundtrack has all your favorite country hits like Mary Chapin Carpenter, Toby Keith, Alan Jackson, Faith Hill, and many more. All available on CD and cassette, only at Soundtrack. Don't let your music go to the dogs. Soundtrack. Music for everyone. 328 Morgantown Street, Uniontown. Nice look at number 40, Sean Kreeshock, and he will be on the hill here this afternoon. Going against the Brewers, who have uh, played well. Jack Wilson, the head coach and manager, with Michael Essick and Ernie McDowell helping with the ball club. Let's set the Pirate defense for you. It'll be Brain down at third, Landman and Yeoman up the middle with Turco at first, Kreeshock and Elias the battery, Lachardi, McDuffie, Miakovich, and Chaz Pinckney, your outfield left to right. And as we said, your battery, Kreeshock and Elias. Set the line up here as the throw snaps down to second. You've got Swentoski, Kaposko, and Dice, the one, two, three hitters with Badinsky, Svek, and Wilson. And Palmer, Lucy, Thompson, and McDowell through uh, the 7 and 10 spot. So here we roll as A.J. strides in. Kreeshock off the plate wide. One ball, no strikes. Got to about 85 or so today. A very warm day here in Uniontown. Nice little breeze settling in as it's cooled off. Just way upstairs, 2-0. 2-0 is your score in favor of the Brewers. Got a big double from McDuffie to drive in a run, and then McDuffie later scored on a wild pitch. So here we go. The pitch coming. And he missed down low. Three balls, no strikes. And a 3-0 coming. There's one lifted towards second, and up in the air, and a fine grab, Brad Yeoman. Yeoman goes up, climbs the ladder, and makes the play. So cutting away, which I like to see on the 3-0. And we'll put a little star by that one. Nice play there. That'll bring up Andy Caposco, third baseman. Caposco striding in. His first appearance of the day, and Andy takes it just off the plate. Had him the other night. As this is the second time uh, we have had the Brewers here in the last uh, couple of weeks. And the pitch is a swing and a miss. Count evens up at one and one. Andy, the last time we had him, had a one for three and scored a couple of runs. 
Little number off the right side. Count will even now. One ball and two strikes. And the pitch. Missed upstairs. Count will even up now. Two balls, two strikes. Make him be there, Andy. Don't go after him. Jack Wilson coaching at third. Michael Essick over here at first. Ground ball ripped and through for a base hit down the line. Good try by Brain as he got the glove down on the backhanded attempt. So Caposco singles, and that'll bring up Billy Dice. One down. Dice the shortstop. Good all-around athlete. Has good power. Badinsky on deck. And the pitch. Runner going. Throw down. Going to be close. And just did get in. Stolen base by Caposco. And a strong throw down by Michael Elias. Scooped it out of the dirt and cut it loose. One down. Runner aboard at second. Two-nothing ball game. First inning. Chase it upstairs. Count will even up now. One ball, one strike. And here comes the pitch. Close, but outside. Pitch into the dirt. Count will go to two balls and one strike. Billy Dice taking a long look down at Jack Wilson. And I'm sure Jack is just saying, take a rip. And the pitch missed away. The runner will hold. Michael Elias behind the plate. Brain at third, Landman and Yeoman at short and second with Turco. Over at first, Lachardi, McDuffie, Miakovic, and Pinkney the outfield. Kreeshock and Elias, the battery on the 3 1. Here's the pitch coming. Inside, he lost him. Ball four. Pitch in the dirt, gets away. One ball, no strikes. Elias will locate it. Kreeshock got the first out. And then a base hit by Caposco, a walk to Dice, and you're looking at second and third now, and a base hit right here ties the game. And Mike Bedinsky, deep in the batter's box. Evens up to count now, one ball and one strike. Mike Bedinsky, number five, the cleanup hitter, with one down, runners at second and third. And the pitch coming. Chased one up in his power zone. One ball, two strikes now as he went after it. Two nothing ball game, Brewers on top and the one two coming. He swings and misses, strike three, the runner coming, no. Good hustle, Elias got to it, so Beninsky goes down on strikes. Two down, that'll bring up big Jake Beck. Jake with good power. Striding in. And a pitch. Oh, he rips it left field, got a chance. And it hits right into the fence. Jerry, that thing stuck in the uh, meshing out there. What a rip. Stuck it right in the, uh, above the steward sign. I think it's stuck in his fence, right, Jerry? He doubled up the alley, and I mean, he crushed it. If he lifts that one with any elevation and loft, that's in the lake. Oh, right above the Stewart collision sign. And a double to tie it, and that brings up Justin Wilson. Got some size here on both ball clubs. Pitch upstairs. Big Jake at second. Make it come to you. I think it was John Wayne made the movie, wasn't it, uh, Jerry? Big Jake? Yeah. Big Jake put one into the fence, stuck it up in the uh, meshing. Reminds you of some of the balls that stick in the vi uh, uh, ivy on the walls in Wrigley Field. 
So a 2-2 ball game now. All right, Justin, good swing, buddy. And the wind up and the pitch coming. Oh, a ripping shot right at Landman. Boy, did he hit it on the nose. Justin ripped it, but right at Landman for the third out. Nice play by David. Couple of runs to even it up. Through one, we're tied at two. Well, to again be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of Hark Youth Baseball. This dedicated group of area men and women has long served the immediate area and has offered thousands of youth the opportunity to participate in and enjoy this uniquely great American game of baseball. The 1995 officers are President Ed Palermo, Vice President Jack Wilson, Treasurer Daryl Tellerico, and Secretary Tom Rice. These special men would like to thank all the coaches, parents, volunteers, and of course the players in making this season such a success. We're ready to go now as the Pirates come to the plate. Mike Elias was at the plate when uh, we had a runner cut down a third to end the inning. Pitch coming. Upstairs. One ball, one strike. Jake Speck, Justin Wilson, the battery. One and one to count here to Mike Elias. Swing and a miss. Good hard heater. Both ball clubs, strong hitting teams. Probably won't see a lot of strikeouts tonight. And just as we say it, Elias goes down, called. One down to Chris Mayakovich. Garrett Brain to follow. And Mike Lachardi, which has Pinckney to follow. Chris striding in, and the pitch takes it away. I tell you, not the easiest thing in the world to do as a youngster overcoming some fear to stride in there and try and hit that ball. And these guys do a nice job of it. Two of upstairs. Mayakovich and Brain to follow. Back into the line, wind up and the pitch. Missed upstairs. Three balls, no strikes to count. Into the wind up and the pitch. Missed outside. So Mayakovich aboard with the walk. And that'll bring up Brain. Boy, Garrett had the big defensive game the other night. Seen the Pirates. The Pirates were the last ball club that we were able to film, and here we have had them back to back. On a Wednesday night, Sunday night combination, and Brain, who was a defensive star the other night, striding in. Strike, and a runner off and gone. Strong throw, they got him! DOA, strong throw. Wilson got it down to Palmer, and the tag was right there, so cut down, scored two to four. Nice throw by Justin. He gunned it down, and Palmer hung tough, and the throw was to the first base side, but Palmer was there on the strong throw and hung in there and made the tag. We had a real good look at it, and a nice call also by Chuck Valenic on the bases. So two down now on the pitch. Strike two. So Big Jake coming hard now. Couple of caught stealing. So Wilson got Turco to end the last inning, stealing third. Got Mayakovich there and swing and a miss. So with the help of the caught stealing, a one, two, three. Through one and a half, tied at two. Rediscover all the wonderful things you remember as a child. There were the great historians that shaped our country the interesting lands and cultures around the globe, the fascinating world of science, or the exciting adventures of Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. Recapture the memories when you help your child read and study at home. After all, who knows? You may learn something too. Palmer striding in, made a good defensive tag that last inning to complete a two to four caught stealing. 
inside from Creeshock. Sean on the hill. Older brother plays up in the Pony League, and uh, the dad helps out coaching. I'm going to tell you, without the help of the parents and other volunteers, uh, just wouldn't be a league. So the pitch is in the dirt. Drew Lucy and Burt Thompson to follow. Bobby with that determined look on his face, strides in. Hits it foul down the third base side. Two balls, one strike to count. Two-two ball game in the bottom of the second. Beautiful uh, setting on the lake. And Jerry, uh, quite a few fishermen out. I think next Saturday will be the first day of bass season. Swing it, look out, they're coming at us again. I tell you, we went through two years plus without anything even close. And here in the last two weeks, we've taken one into the camera and several that have hit the screen below us and a couple right above us. So into the windup and the pitch from Shock. Oh, just missed upstairs, good eye. Dimensions 212 down the left field line, 200 down the right. About 215 to 220 to left center and 230 to the foul pole in right center. Just right, above him, that about chin high, and Bobby aboard on the walk. Now Jerry getting a nice little view of the lake for you. And some nice painting down there, Jerry, with the uh, guardrails and the bridge railing down there, very bright red. Swing and a miss. Palmer with the big lead as Lucy cuts. Don't try to kill it, Drew. Drew the right center fielder behind 0-1. And the pitch. Oh, close. Just a little downstairs. Count will even up now. One and one. Steady stream of traffic out here. This field located in a pretty busy area out here in Hopwood. Just downstairs. So the count now, two balls and one strike. Get some tape out here. We're getting a little bit of breeze up and we'll anchor some scoring statistic sheets down. So that should even or draw the count full now. Three balls, two strikes. Into the windup and the pitch coming. Strike two, okay, it was just three and one. Now we go to three, two. Scoreboard had the count full at three, two. Now they've left it alone and it's now is full at three, two. So Creeshock, one pitch away from getting maybe the first out and he lost him. So a couple of walks here to start the inning. Going to bring up Burt Thompson, the left center fielder. Big Burt striding in. And then you've got uh, Ernie coaching inside. So we've got a little park version of Bert and Ernie here. Bert Thompson, Ernie McDowell. And a pitch. Pitch inside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Brain at third, Lambin at short, Yeoman and Turco the right side. Cree shock and Elias the battery. Rings him up inside corner. Count will even out. One and one. This game being seen Sunday night, and we'll be on the air, of course, again this coming Wednesday with either Hark Little League or Pony League talk with Bob Schiffbauer earlier tonight, and we will be getting some teener games and maybe some midget games over here. Usually we go with the midget league later in the season after the nine and ten year olds have had opportunity to acclimate themselves to pitch baseball and we'll pick that up later we've had a lot of fun the last couple of years taping uh, tournament games and championship games on the teener field and the pitch coming Lofted towards short, Landman coming, got it. Could be a triple play, there's one, two, and three. So they turn the triple play, score at six to four to three.
and we get our first triple play. So Lamon coming hard, caught the ball on the fly. The runners were breaking, flipped to second, got the runner there. The second baseman then gun gunned it on to first baseman Luke Turco and a 6-4-3 triple play. So big play to end the inning. They talk about a double play being the pitcher's best friend. What about a triple play? They get out of the jam and we go out of the third, tied at two. The Joden Chiropractic Clinic, located in the first one that we have seen out here in quite a while, if, if ever, and the pitch bunted through. Strike one to Lachardi. Jack Wilson uh, saying that Michael Essick ran him into that, and Michael Essick saying it was Jack's call. <laughs> they were gambling, running, and they got a big kick out of it as they come, it came off the... I think it was Mike's call. Jerry said it was Mike's call all the way. So to count even now, to ball and a strike. I'll take it in good humor here, and uh, kids executing a triple play. You won't see that too often. That was pretty. Bunts it foul, should even up the count now at two and two. One, two, okay, Richie. Rich, a fine pitcher for Laurel Highlands, particularly his senior year, did some fine catching his junior year. Strike three called, rang him up. So Lachardi down, that'll bring up Pinckney. Jazz Pinckney comes striding in. And the pitch, ripped towards short. Nice pick there, Dice. Guns it across and a fine play by Swentoski. Hard hit ball and a nice play, two down. Come to the top of the order in Landman. Nice play at both ends, strong play by Dice. Fine reach and stretch by Swentoski. the windup and the pitch ripped down towards the hole and Landman has the base hit ball knocked down in left field and a good play there by McDowell to hold it there to a single and Landman with a solid shot you know he's going to be off and running brings up Brad Yeoman who got a board on an infield air Grounded towards third and into her base hit. Yeoman with the base hit. Nice play, McDowell. He will hold it there to another single. And we've got two on after two quick outs. And that brings up Josh McDuffie, who doubled. Drove in a run, later came around to score. And this guy with some power here. Game tied at two, we're in the third. And Big Duff striding in. Pops it up. No balls, one strike to count. No balls, one strike to Josh McDuffie. And the pitch. Grounded towards short. Dice, nice play, makes the smart play. Over to third, gets it to Caposco for the fielder's choice. So a fine play by Dice to end the inning. Score that one six to five, and no runs, a couple of base hits. We go now to the bottom of the third, still tied at two. Uniontown Toyota, located on Route 4. We go now to McDowell as we go to the bottom of the third inning. Ryan, the left-handed stick, striding in. And Cree shot to the plate. Some enjoyable banter here with Michael Essick. We were talking about the play that uh, ended the last inning, the triple play. And there's a good look at Mike. Swing and a foul, one and one. We were telling him that we gave him total credit uh, for that base running gaffe in the last inning, so to speak. He said he's never been timid as far as sending the runners. So the count will even now to ball and the strike. Ryan McDowell striding in. Top of the order coming up next and got some good sticks coming up. Strike two to Ryan. One ball, two strikes to count. Triple play ended the last inning. 
And the pitch coming. He rung him up. Strike three called. Brings up the top of the order. Swentoski and Andy Kaposko. Swentoski retired on a nice play by Brad Yeoman to start the ball game. He hustles in. Don't go after me. Make it beat me. And here comes the pitch. One after one upstairs around the letters. No balls, one strike. And the pitch coming on the 0-1. Swinging a foul into the net. We got one back up in here. <laughs> Count will even up now. Coming the door. No, no balls, two strikes. We have one coming in. I tell you, they're taking their shots at it. 0-2. And the pitch. Missed inside. Count will go to one ball, two strikes on A.J. Swentoski. Andy Kaposko, Billy Dice, Mike Bedinsky, and Jake Svek to follow here in the bottom of the third in a 2-2 ball game. Ryan McDowell retired to lead off the inning, and A.J. striding in behind in the count at one and two. Missed upstairs, 2-2. Two -two. I'll tell you, Mike Elias, uh, learning in a hurry, tried to steal a strike right there as he moved the glove down and onto the corner and pitch oh close three two just above or just below the knees rather three two count and here we go missed outside so aj will hustle down and Andy Kaposka, who singled. Nice little breeze, comfortable breeze, blowing up. Runner at the corner at first. In Swentoski, Andy Kaposko. Takes one upstairs. One ball, no strike. Mike Elias behind the plate. Jack Wilson giving the signs down at third. And the pitch coming. Missed away. The runner going. Throw down. Close, but he's in. As Yeoman got the tag down, so a stolen base. Moves the runner up to second. As we move towards dusk, getting some light here in the uh, press box. Jerry turning on the overhead light. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Two-two ball game, bottom of the third. One down, go ahead and run at second. There's one lifted to deep left center field. This one will get to the fence on the second hop. And this will be a double and will get a run home. So a ripping shot to left field. So Andy put a charge in it. That brings the run home, and we'll bring up Billy Dice, who walked and scored. Wall hit ball up the alley. The Charty and McDuffie both getting over there after it, but it was up the alley and in a hurry with authority. Don't worry about it. And the pitch. There's another ripper to left field, just past Landman, and they will hold the runner. He's coming. Strong throw, Landman, and they got him at the plate. He held on. Nice play by Elias. Strong throw by Landman on the relay. So we'll score that one eight to six to two. Boy, what a throw by Landman. And cut down at the plate. So Kaposko cut down at the plate for the second out of the inning. And on the plate, taking third. All the way was Dice. So the run cut down at the plate. 3-2 ball game. Good aggr aggressive base running and a strong throw by Landman. Not too many kids at that this level will make that throw. David had a lot on it and had it right on the money. And the pitch. 
Grounded. Big hop comes up. Landman, plenty of time. Got him. Nice play. Landman, two fine plays to end the inning. Gets it across to Luke Turco for the third out. So a run comes across on a couple of base hits. And we go now to the top of the fourth. The score, three to two in favor of the Brewers. Tapping. Soundtrack. It's foot tapping. Soundtrack. It'll make you move, groove, get up and dance. Soundtrack. CDs or cassettes. Soundtrack. They've even got records. And check out the concert shirts. Soundtrack. Soundtrack has all your favorite country hits like Mary Chapin Carpenter, Toby Keith, Alan Jackson, Faith Hill, and many more. All available on CD and cassette only at Soundtrack. Don't let your music go to the dogs. Soundtrack. Music for everyone. 328 Morgantown Street, Uniontown. Jake Speck on the hill as we move now to the fourth. And I think that's Sean Kreeshock striding in. It is. So Kreeshock moving in. Sean popped the short his first go around. Jake Speck, Justin Wilson, the battery. Lofted to right field. This is a base hit. I'll follow it on the camera. Finally wising up enough to realize when that thing gets down to right field, just quickly look to the uh, monitor. So a base hit for Kreeshock. Lead-off man aboard, and that'll bring up Luke Turco. Justin Wilson has nailed two today on caught stealing, so might be a little leery in sending a runner here. Let's see what they do. He's gone, and oh, I'll tell you, Justin was getting ready to turn it loose and just drop the ball. He was ready to cut it loose and probably feels pretty confident back there because he has caught two stealing here tonight. So Turco, with the one strike count, squares away, bunts through it, and the play down at third, no. And Richie Valenic gonna hobble around a little bit. That ball got past the catcher and got Richie right on the foot. So there you get a nice look at him there. Hang in there, Rich. So 0-2, and a little landscaping down at third as the base pop free. To the count, Turco bunted through it. Swing and a miss. Big strike out there. Bring up Michael Elias, who went down on strikes. His first and only plate appearance. Another wind up. And he squares around, bunts it right off the plate, foul. No balls, one strike to count. Into the wind up and gonna bunt it again. Bunts it down the line, right to third. He's gonna look there and a nice play, Kaposka. They're coming home. Strong throw, and they got him. Oh, he dropped the ball. The out, and then the safe call. Boy, what a pretty play. Kaposko gunned it to Palmer, covering, and then the throw to the plate was right on the money, and a tough slide in, and the ball popped loose, but I'll tell you, you can't fault Justin Wilson for that. That was a tough play, and a nice, nice play all the way around, so the play goes five to four for the out. And the run scored. I like the way Caposco came, looked, and then gunned it over to first, and a strong throw by Palmer. That was very close to another double play. But that was beautiful. Make it a 3-3 ball game. And I tell you, you cannot uh, say anything negative about the play of Justin Wilson there. He hung in there and stood his ground. And the hard slide right into the glove just popped it out of there. So also give credit to Kreeshock. Good, strong base running and a hard slide. That was pretty baseball all the way around. Jake misses inside. I tell you, Richie get a little gun shy back here and I can't blame him. He's already taken one on the puppy. And he's starting to bail out and I can't blame him. And there's the walk. So Mayakovich is aboard for the second time. Okay, we had a switch there. Okay, that was Pat Watson. Okay, Pat Watson. Okay, now we got another change. 
Sorry, guys. I didn't read this. Okay. Pitch in the dirt. So Blake McCord will be in. The throw down will not be in time. So Pat Watson is in for Mayakovich. Pat Watson and McCord is in for Brain. Swing and a miss. Hey, Tim, before you go in, stay here for one minute. We're moving them around, so I'll tell you next. Okay. Blake McCord now, even up at one and one. Bunted through it, strike two. So Blake is number 21. He is in the hitting order for Garrett Brain. So there'll be some changes here. 3-3 three, three ball game, and Big Jake swinging a foul. Into the windup. And he got him on strikes to end the inning, but a run across and make it 3-3 three, three after three and a half. Located at 96th East Main Street, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth and high school athletic events. Attorneys Simon B. John and John McDiver, Mary Campbell Spigar, and founder Bernard T. John have provided legal assistance to Fayette County residents since 1968. Long a sponsor of local athletics and other youth activities in the Uniontown area, the attorneys and their support staff, Kathy Seiske, Robin Hill, and Pamela Kahn, want to extend best wishes to all of the area athletic teams and their coaches and wish them well on an outstanding season. Office hours for John and John are 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday with evening appointments and Saturday appointments also available upon request. The phone number for John and John is 438-8560. Wholesale changes here for the Pirates defensively. Brad Yeoman, number 24, has come on the hill. Bacciardi has moved behind the plate. Creeshock is at second. McDuffie has moved to first. Landman will stay at uh, short. Elias moves from uh, catching over to third. McCord has gone to left field. Turco has moved from first to left center. Pat Watson in the game in right center. And Chaz Pinckney stays out in right field. So we're ready to go now. And Big Jake's Vec. It's going to be a matter of time, Jerry, before he finds home run derby here. Okay. And Lachardi getting out there right now. He'll be behind the plate. So we're just about ready to roll. Set that defense again. McDuffie at first. Creeshock is at second. Landman stays at third. And we got a left-handed catcher now. And Lachardi will be a left-handed catcher, Mike Lachardi. And the throw down. We're ready to go. Third baseman is Michael Elias. McCord, Turco, Watson, and Pinckney left to right. So here we go as Jake Svek strides in. Big Jake doubled into the fence. Literally, the ball stuck in the mesh out there in left center. Takes it away. One ball, no strikes. Brad Yeoman on the hill. 3-3 three, three ball game, bottom of the fourth. And Svek to be followed by Wilson and then Palmer. Missed upstairs. Count now. 0-2-0. Oh, oh. Boom! Two balls, no strikes. Missed away. 3-0. Thumb Jack Wilson. And there's no question. Green light right here. 3-0, oh, good stick. Don't want to take the bat out of his hands, I don't think, with a walk. We'll see. And he lost him, so he's aboard. And that'll bring up Justin Wilson, who popped to short his first time up. So Brad Yeoman on the hill in relief. Three shock worked three strong innings. And here's Wilson now with Palmer to follow. Pitch away, the runner off and gone. Throw down will not be in time. Uh, 
And the wind up and the pitch. Strike one call. Count will even out one and one. So Yeoman, after missing with five, finds the plate and evens the count now at one and one. Into the windup and the pitch. Missed upstairs. Two and one. Two balls, one strike to count. And the pitch. Swing and a foul. Kind of even out, two and two. Two balls, two strikes to count. Nobody down. Lead run at second. And swinging a miss, strike three. And runner goes on the play. One down, they'll bring up Bobby Palmer, who has walked. Palmer striding in. What an opportunity right here. Ground ball probably gets a run home. Palmer looking down at third to get the sign. And we're in the fourth inning. Tied at three. And the pitch coming. Strike one, outside corner. Nice job. Both umpires today have had uh, close plays. You've had tag plays at the plate. You've had tag plays at third and second. And Palmer squares away as if to bunt. And he does again. Pitch away. And above. And the count evens up now. One and one. Moving here into the fourth inning. And the pitch coming. Strike two. Everybody charging. Landman snuck in behind uh, the runner at third. Elias charging at third. McDuffie coming all the way at first. Creeshock breaking to the bag. Strike three. Two down, that'll bring up Drew Lucy. Bobby down on strike, so good job here by Yeoman as he had a runner at third and has gotten two down here. Pitch away, he's coming to the plate and he'll make it. So there's your lead run as Jake Speck comes across the plate. Bert Thompson on deck. Also a member of this ball club, Mark Carbonera. And Matthew King, but I believe Matthew's family has moved and relocated. So Carbonera, the only sub on this ball club. And the pitch. Strike one called. Make it a 2-1 count. Drew striding in. Two down and a run in. Over top of the fastball. Count evens now at two and two. So Yeoman gave up a walk, then struck out a pair. Trying to get that last out, last pitch here, and he got him. So a run in on a walk and make it a 4-3 game in favor of the Brewers as we go now to the top half of inning number five. The Hutchison Area Recreation Council is proud to again be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of Hark Youth Baseball. This dedicated group of area men and women has long served the immediate area and has offered thousands of youth the opportunity to participate in and enjoy this great American game of baseball. The 1995 officers are Ed Palermo, Jack Wilson, Daryl Tellerico, and Tom Rice. These special men would like to thank all of the coaches, parents, volunteers, township supervisors, maintenance crew, and of course the players in making this season such a success. Jake Speck on the hill. And he will work to Lachardi and then Chaz Pinckney and then the top of the order. 4-3 ball game. 
Just downstairs, 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strikes to count. Mike Lachardi, Chas Pinckney to follow. Big Jake. Missed outside. Three balls, no strikes. We're in the fifth. The number nine and ten hitters, and then the top of the order in Landman and Brad Yeoman. The damage has been done at the top. And there's a big play right there. So Lachardi aboard on the walk. Hustles down to first. See if they send him. As Chaz Pinckney strides in, number 36. Be interesting to see if they elect to send him because this guy behind the plate, Wilson, has a nice arm. Swing and a foul, and that one is hammered out of play. No balls, one strike to count. Into the wind up and the pitch. He's going to throw down, will not be in time, stolen base. Count evens up, I believe, at one and one now. Four, three ball game. Pirates now with the tying run at, at second base, trying to get back into this thing, even. The inning got underway with Lachardi drawing the walk. And the 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Jake set, delivers. Foul, back into the net. One ball, two strikes to count. And timeout, Jerry, they're gonna redo second base here. From Jake, in the dirt, gets away, runner moves up. So the count now, on the scoreboard shows a ball and two strikes. Another wind up in the pitch to Pinckney. Rounded down to third and foul. Andy Posco comes off the line to make the play. And the pitch popped up right side. Watch the screen here. And a nice play. They're coming home with it. The throw, not in time. Fine play by the right uh, fielder coming up in A.J. Swentoski, the first baseman going back. And I think it was Swentoski, yeah. right, Jerry? Because yeah. I was looking on the monitor. Yeah. So a fine play by Swentoski. Sacrifice fly. Ties it up. One down, it brings up David Landman, who is grounded hard to first and single to right. So tied up at four. We're in the fifth. David striding in. And Richie Valenic will do a little house cleaning here. David, a good stick. Three base hits, I think, we have seen him get in just the two games. One ball, no strikes. Tell you what, he was three for three the last game. One for two, so he's four for five, and they've all been solid line drive hits. I think it's okay. Good con bat control. Missed downstairs, two and oh. One out in the inning. Lachardi drew a walk, got to third, and scored on the sacrifice fly to right field when first baseman A.J. Swentoski made a fine play in foul territory. And the run scored on the play. And in the windup, Jake Cummins. There's a shot, right center. This will get to the fence in two short hops. Landman coming hard, and he's in with a double. So David doubled up the alley. And Brad Yeoman in now. Good solid rip. Landman two for three has hit the ball hard all three times. Into the windup. Pitch. Missed upstairs. Nice play by Wilson. Go ahead run at second base in Landman. And you're in the heart of the order. 
and the pitch. Lifted towards left center field. And a nice catch out there by Burt Thompson. Had a boy Burt. Fine catch in left center field for the second out. And good wood on the ball that time by Brad Yeoman. Brings up Josh McDuffie who has doubled and get into a fielder's choice. Run leads away to pitch. Missed inside, nice start by Wilson. One ball, no strikes, and the pitch. There's a shot towards second and through. This will get a run home, and they're gonna go for two on it. He'll make it, stand it up, a ripping double. Boy, McDuffie hit a shot, a bullet. Palmer had no chance on it. And he really cranked it out there. Two in the inning now, make it a 5-4 ball game. And bring up Sean Kreshock. Chance to get another run home. In the dirt, nice stop by Wilson. One ball, no strikes, 5-4 ball game. Pirates got two in the first, one in the fourth, two here in the fifth. Pitch away and a runner will get to third. I think the count's 2-0 and oh on Kreshock, who has popped a short and singled and scored. Timeout called. We're going to break as Jack Wilson wants to have a word with his pitcher. As Billy Dice has come in and strike call. Speck has moved to short. Two down in the inning. And Kreshock with a 2-1 count. Face and dice. In the dirt. Man, a nice stop by Wilson. I'll tell you, guy down at third can run. That's McDuffie. Three balls, one strike, the count. And the pitch. Missed upstairs, so this will put Kreshock aboard. First and third. Brings up Luke Turco with a good golden opportunity to hear. Probably be runners at second and third here very shortly because I'm sure they'll be running Kreshock. I'll tell you, Jerry, we have that threatening weather. It looks like, uh, feels like rain moving in again. That's what they call for seeding, folks. Swing and a miss. Keep walking, Sean. Kreshock going down. And we'll hustle throw over to third. It's close. And time called. Runner gets down to second. No play made on him there. Okay, strike one to count. On Turco. Pitches upstairs. Count one ball, one strike. And a pitch, missed upstairs, 2-1. So Billy Dice upstairs with that delivery and behind any count now, 2-1. and one. Strike two, swing it. So the count even up at 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Two down, two runners aboard in a 5-4 ball game. Dice just missed, a runner coming, gonna be a play at the plate, and he's safe. So hustling in, McDuffie, close play at the plate, but he gets across, gives him an insurance run to make it 6-4 now. Count is full at three and two. Turco, full count. 6-4 ball game. And the pitch, he lost him. Puts runners at first and third, and they'll be at second and third here very shortly, and it'll bring up Mikey Lias. Runner heading towards second, and he'll make it. 
And let's see, they're going to send him back. No, he'll stay there. So now we got Elias with a chance for an RBI or two right here. Into the windup. And the pitch coming to Elias. Missed upstairs. Runners coming. And the play will make it in. So Kreshock running all out. Scores the fourth run of the inning. And hustling all the way, Turco ends up at third. Seven to four. Elias now with the base hit right here can get another run home. And the pitch missed inside. Count evens up at one and one. So a big inning right here. Four runs across, turning a 4-3 deficit into a 7-4 advantage. And the pitch, swing and a miss, 2-1 count. Want to again thank South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbeier, Rock Cove, and Tom Frankhauser, and Helicon Cable Systems, under the direction of Regional Manager Craig Tomchek for making all of this possible tonight. Want to also thank uh, J.R. Wheeler, lovely wife Megan, who I talked with a couple of times today regarding broadcast scheduling and delivery of tapes and very cooperative all the way around. Pitch coming. Strike two call. Do want to remind you that we will be bringing you baseball throughout the summer months and then gearing up uh, toward the end of August for high school football. We'll be televising Laurel Highland High School football all season long right here on Channel 52. So the pitch coming, and he got him. But a big inning across. One, two, three, four across in the inning. And that makes it now a 7-4 ball game in favor of the Pirates. And strike one call to Burt Thompson. Ryan McDowell on deck. And a pitch. Swing and a foul. Count evens up now. No, no balls, two strikes to count. And the pitch. Lifted towards right center field. Drifting over, and this one will get over the head of the right fielder. And a base hit, a single for Burt Thompson. Pat Watson got over and couldn't quite get to it. So a base hit, and that brings up Ryan McDowell. And then the top of the order here, rounded towards the mound, coming off Yeoman, spins it on to first base to McDuffie, and that's a big out there, score at one to three. That brings up A.J. Swentoski. So A.J. has lined to second and walked. So the pitch from Yeoman, inside, gets away. Runner hold, drop anchor and hold at second. Into the windup and the pitch. Missed high, two and oh. You're at the part of the order now where they've got the big lumber and three runs is not a whole lot. He can get through this one, though. He's done his job. There's a shot down the line, the left field, and the runner will hold a third. Nice move by Jack Wilson there just to hold him. So a solid single by A.J. One down. Runners at the corners now. That brings up Andy Kaposka, who has singled and scored and doubled. So he represents the tying run. And we're in the bottom of the fifth. And the pitch, swing and a miss, runner will hustle down. So a base hit right here possibly gets two. No balls, one strike to count. Oh, what do you call it, a foul, Jerry, I think. They did, they're removing the runner back, so it was a foul tip. Runner hustles back to first now. 
So Caposco digs in. There's a shot towards short. This will be a double play. Landman guns it across to McDuffie. Big play right there. DP six to three. Nice play. Landman, strong throw. McDuffie, and a beautiful play to end the inning. So make it a 7-4 ball game. We go to the sixth. The Joden Chiropractic Clinic, located in the Continental Plaza on Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletics. One ball, no strikes. Pat striding in, going against Dice. Hacks it one upstairs, evens up one and one. One ball, one strike. And the pitch, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Inside and low, so the count now evens up at 2-2. Two, two. Pirates would love to get some insurance runs. I tell you, we've had a triple play, a double play, Good defense all the way around. And there's the first out of the inning. Watson down on strikes, and I'll bring up Blake McCord. McCord for the Pirates strides in. Blake wearing number 21. And the pitch, up and in. One ball, no strikes. Swing on a half fastball upstairs. Count will even up now, one and one. Nice look at the young man there. Strike two. So Dice has come in and thrown well here. Blake McCord with Mike Lachardi to follow. And the two strike. Missed upstairs, evens up now, two, two. Two balls, two strikes. One down. We're in the sixth. And the pitch. Missed low. 3-2. And ball four bring up Lachardi to be followed by Pinckney. Number 29, Mike Lachardi, a left-handed stick coming in. I don't think they'll be sending him right here. Wilson has thrown two out today. Strike one, let her high, fastball. Good job on the umpires side here today. They've both done a fine job. Had some tough calls. They've moved the game right along at a good pace and have had several close tag plays, both on the bases and at home. So they count even up now to one ball, one strike. Strike two. One ball, two strikes to Lachardi with Pinkney to follow and then Landman. And you know they don't want to get to the top of the order. And he chases one, but fouls it. Good hustle by Blake, because he got down to second. We'll have to drop anchor and come back now to first. One ball, two strikes, Lachardi. And the pitch, just off the plate, 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Into the wind up, strike three call, then two down. Brings up Chaz Pinckney now. Chaz has sacrificed and drove a run in and also is grounded to short. He hit the fly ball to right field that drove a run in. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swentoski made a fine grab backing up in right field off the first base position and a fine diving catch really and the play 
allow the runner at third, Lachardi, to come in and score. So, pass ball or wild pitch gets away and moves the runner up to second base. Pinckney, the right fielder. 0 for 1, but has an RBI. And the pitch missed inside. Two balls, one strike. David Landman on deck, and you know he's just salivating and champing it a bit to get up here. He wants one more at bat. He's hit the ball hard all day. Swing and a foul. So this is a big pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Landman on deck. Brad Yeoman to follow. And the pitch. Missed, runner heading towards third. Gonna be a play. And nice play by Kaposko as he had to come off the bag. Make the play, got some dirt back in there, so we're gonna have to break a little while. And there's a big pitch and a big out, strike three. So we'll go now to the bottom of the sixth, last shot for the Brewers. They lead it by the count of seven to four. Line in a hurry, nice play by Mike Elias. You cannot fault him in any way, shape, or form. Base hit right there. And I mean, that was flying up that line. That brings up Mike Bedinsky, who has struck out and grounded to short. There's one lifted the left center field, and this one will get in there for a base hit. So two pitches and two men on. So that double play to end the last inning looms ever so big. Jake Sveck striding in now. He represents the tying run. And the pitch upstairs, ball one. And the runner will get over two third. And now hustling up the second is Badinsky. So you've got second and third occupied with Jake Savek head in the count. One ball, no strikes. Justin Wilson on deck. And then Palmer and Lucy to follow. So into the windup. Brad Yeoman coming with it. Missed inside. Well, Mikey Lyons made a nice play on the ground ball by Billy Dice, but Dice just gets up that line so fast. Elias had no chance on his throw over to McDuffie to get him. There's a ground ball towards short. Landman coming up, throwing. Got him. Big out right there. Nice play by David. He's played very well down there tonight and has played well in the two ball games that we've done. Bring up Justin Wilson. Run scores, of course, on the play. Make it a 7-5 ball game. That was a big out. Because I tell you, Schweck has the potential to take one into the lake. First time around, he doubled into the fence, hit a line shot that hit about a foot below the bar and stuck in the fence. Good play by Lamman. He's had some tough chances. He handled them well. Swing and a miss. And the pitch gets away, and the runner will hold at third. One ball, one strike. And the pitch coming. Missed away. Two balls, one strike. Justin Wilson has popped the short and went down on strikes. 7-5 ball game. Pirates trying to wrap it up right here. Need a couple outs. They lead the Brewers. Into the windup and the pitch coming from Brad Yeoman. Pop foul. Evens the count up at 2-2. Bobby Palmer to follow. And then Drew Lucy, Burt Thompson, and Ryan McDowell. And the wind up on the 2-2. He went after it. Two down. Good hustle off the mound by Yeoman. That brings up Bobby Palmer, who has walked and went down on strikes. Has an opportunity here to keep the inning going. So Yeoman gets the big strikeout, big ground out on a fine play by Landman for the other out in the inning. Yeah. 
And the pitch. There's a shot towards short and in for a base hit. So the tying run is aboard now. And Palmer will drop anchor at first. A ripping shot brings Badinsky home. They'll bring up Drew Lucy now. Lucy has walked and gone down on strikes. So he represents the last hope here for the Brewers with two down. Palmer singling to make it a 7-6 game. Drew striding in. Swing and a miss. Palmer will hustle, make second easily. Throw down. Not in time. No balls, one strike on Drew Lucy. Drew striding in. And the pitch. Missed away. Count now. One ball and one strike. And the pitch. Two balls and one strike. Burt Thompson on deck. That is the tying run at third. He got down there, and he'll be ready to roll here any time if it gets past the catcher. Youngman's pitch. In the dirt, 3-1. Boy, Lachardi doing a nice job, Jerry. He's got a left-handed catcher's mitt on. Is that right? Look. Yeah, it is. I thought that was a fielder's glove at first. So the 3-1 coming from Youngman. He walked him. So there's your winning run at first. Lucy at first. Palmer at third. Two outs, and that brings up Burke Thompson, who has lined into a triple play and singled. So timeout on the field. Winning run is down at first. Let's see if they send him. They do. And the runner will hustle down to second. So there's your winning run at second. Strike called now to Burke Thompson. A base hit right here could win it. Lucy down at second, and the pitch. Swing and a foul, so Yeoman doing what he's got to do, bringing the ball right across. He's ahead 0-2. Ryan McDowell on deck. So the ball game right here, right now. This is the key pitch, the 0-2. Missed inside, and a nice stop by the catcher. I tell you, Lachardi's doing a nice job blocking everything. Anything gets by him now, you got to think, well, Bobby Palmer might be coming. So one ball, two strikes. Into the windup and the pitch. Upstairs, 2-2. Two, two. So Yeoman jumped ahead in the count, 0-2. Oh, now even up at 2-2. Two, two. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a foul, he stayed alive. Burt stays alive up there. Into the windup. And strike three call. That'll do it. Pirates win at 7 6. Two in the inning. They come up one short. And that'll do it for our ball game. Congratulations to the Pirates. Likewise to the Brewers. Well played. Good ball game. And we do want to remind you that tonight's broadcast, as always, is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbeier, Rock Koval, and Tom Frankhauser, and of course, Helicon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Craig Tomchek. I'm John.